In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix oily skin and hot spots in your portraits. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys Duel here and as you cannot see the final output because I haven't opened the photo. <laughs> it's raw file so I wanted to like open it in front of you. Uh, but here's the after before in case you are interested. Okay we good? Now let's open the photo. I'm gonna go to file, open and select the photo. Now these are not JPGs, these are raw photos taken directly from the camera. So when you open them, they will open something like this. It doesn't matter what version of Photoshop you have, they will open up like this, so don't worry. Now it's already edited a little bit, so let's make it default. So you can click here and then select, uh, sorry, reset camera raw defaults. And this is exactly how the photo was taken. Now directly we can see that there is really solid uh, like magenta tint. So to fix that, I'm just gonna make it zero. Simple, easy fix. And also there is a little bit of yellow that I don't want. So I'm gonna go and make it slightly blue. Okay, that's perfect. I don't wanna change anything else. We can, but I'm not gonna. So let's open the photo. Now before we start, everyone knows about oily skin, but what are hot spots? Now hot spots generally occur because of the lighting in the studio. You are not going to have perfect shots every time. So as you can see on this forehead, uh, because of solid highlights, a portion of skin kind of becomes totally white. We lose a lot of details and instead of looking beautiful, it just looks white. That's it. That, that's hot spots. Nothing more than that. Uh, and the fix is super easy. So easy we don't even have to unlock the background. Uh, go and create new blank layer and rename it clone fix. And just like the name, go and select your clone tool. So right click here, select clone stamp tool. Now normally your clone tool would be something like this, right? You have your clone tool, you go, you make your brush big, right click, let's make it a bit big. And hardness, make sure 0% because, well, we need it really soft for the skin. Then you hold your alt key and you sample something from here, right? And then you paint. But problem is that it doesn't look good because lighting from here to here is different texture from here to here is also really different so when you directly clone it it just looks bad so how do we fix it first we need to fix the blend mode i'm gonna go and change the blend mode of my clone tool yes clone tool has its own blend modes so go and change it to darken now what darken will do will basically make bright portions dark <laughs> Like what we are trying to do here is sample uh, texture from dark area to the light area without uh, like making it obvious. So the darken blend mode will help. Now just changing the blend mode is not enough because like if I sample it from here by alt clicking and then when I paint, uh, it still doesn't look that good. Uh, that's because like we need to blend textures as well, not just the lighting. And that's where the opacity will come in. So make it like 30-40% depends on the photo, but this is generally good enough. Now when I alt click on this area and I sample, as you can see, it looks 10 times better compared to regular clone. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Tutorial is not over yet. I'm gonna show you a couple more things. So now as you can see the hotspot is gone, but it doesn't look like a patch, like it just looks like our skin. And the bigger advantage is that we did it on a separate layer. Now in case you create new layer and, it's, and clone tool is not working, you have to make sure that in the sample portion you have current and below. When you select this, you can actually apply your clone on a different layer without touching the original photo. Super useful. That's done. Now let's look at something a bit more complicated. As you can see the highlight on the nose. Now here I'm gonna make the brush a bit smaller. You can use your bracket keys to save some time. Now instead of just uh, like going here and picking up colors from uh, here like this, I'm actually gonna pick up color from a bit closer area and only remove highlight from half of the portion as you can see. And now when I have to fix highlight here, I will actually sample from this area and then try to fix it. So this will give you a little bit variety in your texture so it doesn't look like you're picking up from same area. Now of course like you need to spend a lot more time than this. Uh, but you get the general idea. Like so now if I turn it on and off, 
the sharp highlight is gone now let's look at something that's in curve so as you can see this highlight uh, i'm gonna make my brush a bit bigger then i will pick up texture from here not from here okay uh, because the lighting is way too different here uh, and also texture is a little too different so i'm gonna pick up from here hold my alt key do a click then i will paint like this then do a click here and paint like this and every time you don't have to like go and drag your brush sometimes just do a click here and then do a click here like this you don't have to drag your brush every time so i'm gonna make my brush a bit smaller and then fix this portion here so now let's turn it on and off and now i'm gonna fast forward the video and fix this thing and then i will show you the second method okay okay let's look at the after before looks pretty good now another method now this is using brush tool you select your brush tool uh, and in the opacity make sure it's like 20 30 percent not more than that and after that let's create new blank layer and rename it brush fix now i advise that you don't use this trick uh, on its own like don't just use brush fix always use it with the clone fix i'm gonna show you the reason why Let's see, in this portion, there's still a lot of highlights that I need to fix. Uh, so, uh, when you have something this strong, just make your brush big and hold your Alt key and sample a color from nearby area and then just paint on top of it. And then sample a little bit color from here and then paint it just like that. And now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, it looks a lot better and has a lot more matte like finish and the reason why you should not do it alone is because it's brush tool we don't have any texture so if you paint it directly without any clone fixing it will look really flat because no texture so i can pick up a color from here and give it a bit more matte like finish and also this part is not compulsory if you want more matte like finish or sometimes hotspots are just so bright you cannot fix it alone with clone tool. In those situations, this brush trick helps a lot. Okay, now let's look at the after before. This is the without the brush and this is with the brush. As you can see, there is a lot more matte finishing in the image. And one thing I always like to do is no matter how great job I do at cloning, I always go and reduce the opacity a little bit to bring back that original highlights somewhat. So image doesn't look really flat. And also another thing you should keep in mind is that this is not the final step in process of retouching. Like when you're doing the full portrait, after this you will do like blemish removal. You will also add a lot of dodging and burning. So th this is not the final output. And one of the most important thing that I would like to say is that uh, if you look at the original photo, I'm using this as an example because it has a lot of strong highlights. That does not mean that it wasn't intentional. Like looking at the lighting and makeup, I think the photographer wanted a bit more, you know, glossy finish. So whenever you are doing retouch of this kind, make sure that you clarify things with your client and your photographer before like completely removing highlights or something like that just that okay and that's pretty much it so i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop